Today, our group 1.3 uh, with our digestive system model are going to uh, talk a little bit about our model and the system involved in it. Physiological process that involved in each organ. So, um, here we have um, um, materials that we use to present the organs involved, which is a mouth, esophagus, stomach. Pancreas, um, sorry, pancreas, we didn't really um, represent it in any material. Small intestine, large intestine. So each of us are going to explain more in details about uh, all the organs involved. Starting from the mouth. Okay, uh, the funnel represents the mouth. Where the mouth is It is transparent, so we could see the um, uh, food particle, or we're using um, a colored water to pass through from the mouth until the small intestine. So you could see this orange color is actually uh, represented as a food particle, and we have this dense, and this dense actually to represent the villi to uh, as uh, for absorption. So we're still in for the last intestine, we made it with uh, washing machine tubes and we put a, we put a hole, uh, some holes uh, at the last intestine, the washing machine tube, and we covered it with a facial uh, cotton to represent the absorptions of water here. So basically, the functions of large intestine is to absorb water and also iron, and then it will start um, um, and form the feces, and later the feces will be transferred to the rectum. And finally, it will be expelled out through the openings of the anus. So, um, um, okay. Um, uh, for that, our audience, target audience of our models, are actually, uh, basically, um, toddlers, primary, yeah, kin kindergarten students, um, primary school students. Um, it's actually for the um, sensory, um, uh, uh, sensory, ah, yeah, sensory. Piece. It's attractive to their eyes because we're using different colors for each organ and um, uh, so that they can know that absorption occur in large intestine because some kids don't really know, they only know 15. Um, uh, and, and we're using blackboards uh, to emphasize more on the organs. Um, and for pancreas and liver, we didn't really make a physical, like physical material to present it because um, for us, pancreas and liver doesn't really uh, physically involved in this uh, digestive system. So that's why we didn't like physically. And um, are we going to demonstrate? Uh, demonstrate. Ah, we are going to demonstrate how the system works by. Um, yeah, pouring the yeah. water. Yeah. 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 So we are going to execute by pouring the water through the mouth, which is a funnel, and water will start to flow from the mouth to esophagus to the stomach, large intestine. You can see the water flows, and it reaches the large intestine. This is where 
the um, reabsorption occur in which that the holes will be leak and um, it's like the, the stocking will be wet so we know that it's leaking and yes finally the waters come out from the anus we could say that this person is having diarrhea <laughs> <laughs> yes uh, okay uh, so we have already executed our system our, our okay. model and it's work out finally yeah uh, yeah so that's all from us there's nothing left to say. <laughs>